you know, from day one, children and families were um, together and involved. Even from the moment we entered, all of the children were, were front and center, and you had taught them how to greet. When we went to the different areas of working, uh, where they're working in the kitchen, they're working in the service industry, they're working in a department store, they are good em employees. For example, colleagues that we went to at the bank, and we, th these very young men, this is the first time, I think some of them said they only started in April or March. This is the first time they are working with an individual who's differently able. Did not even hesitate, they were so positive, they said yes. This is a very good experience and we should and we love him. And in fact, one young man sounded like it actually helped him because it seemed that there were things that weighed heavily on him and when he comes to work, you know, a colleague of his makes him feel happier. It helps him, uh, you know, helps reduce his stress. <laughs> Your philosophy of the center providing 30% and the parent providing 70% is really demonstrated. And that is truly important because that is where the life is. The school is not where life really is for the child. They have to live in the family, they have to live within the community, and they have to belong there and be successful there. The fact that the community is the school, that they're learning where they live. They're learning over here in a smaller setting where you're teaching them to practice it, setting it up in a way that that's what they will see in their home, in the world out there. And that part is missing in every intervention program, every uh, school, specialized school, particularly for autism. You give the tools, you've learned the basic uh, components on how to do it. You're not handing them the method. They discover the method themselves. And without using very technical knowledge, you've actually taught the theoretical information in a very practical way. Most of the time, everywhere that I've gone, and especially in Bangladesh, parents are overwhelmed, parents are depressed. They're, I mean, we do know there's a lot of research showing that depression among uh, especially mothers is extremely high when they have a child with a disability. Your parents are happy. <laughs> you, you've given them the tools, you've given them the support, Support. when they need more support you are providing you are teaching them your teaching methods are not just they're very positive but they're also very hands-on you demonstrate to them your program this model is helping even the most what we call lowest functioning non-verbal uh, adults to learn how to uh, be productive, to be a part of the community, to work, to achieve, to be useful. All of us need to be needed. All of us need some expectations. You know, if we cannot look forward to achieving something in life, we lose hope. And you're even able to give them hope and feel like achievers, which is, which is amazing. Muy bien, milagros. A ver, ayúdate tú a ponerte tu medalla por todas altas expectativas y cuando quieran vender algo, ella es, sabe cómo hacerlo. Y a su mamá, Jenny, gracias por darle todas esas oportunidades. And even everybody, all your teachers and staff, how they work, each, you know the name of every single student. And it's not just that you know the name, I noticed that Every single student and mother, when they saw you, they uh, uh, recognized you, they hugged you. And I think that kind of approach, all of your teachers over here, when you notice how they interact with your students, they behave in that same way. It's personal, in a very professional way. And you know, and sad to say this, but I have not seen that in a single school in my country, where the teachers feel or behave like they're the friend of the student.
am extremely excited. I'm really looking we forward do. to it. So. I, it gives me hope because I think in the whole conversation on autism, there is there is so much, so many buzzwords, so many models, so many programs, um, but yours really gives hope. And that is the program uh, th that needs to be promoted. That's a philosophy that needs to be promoted. So thank you for inviting me. Thank you for organizing. Uh, no, so, uh, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias.